here we go. Good morning, Clarion, and welcome to the cave. I'm your host, Mac Knaylor. We're talking about everything manly and then some this morning. Now, usually I host Face the Campus, of course, a political talk show, but, you know, we're going to light, lighten the mood this morning and really talk about something that's a little different, a little off the wall. I usually wear my suit and tie, but today I'm wearing a flannel and jeans. Let's do it. Usually, like I say, we have plenty to talk about today. Uh, everything from, uh, let's see, we have everything from fire to facial hair, Madden to motor sports, everything in between. You have a uh, fix for fixing things, don't fix it. We have so many manly sports on tap, I, can't, I don't know how we're going to put it all into one show. You have things that irritate you, so does Rick, and he'll be on to talk about them later on. We're going to end the show today with one of the best things, for, uh, one of the best things known to man. We're going to eat beef jerky and we're going to arm wrestle. We're gonna, so we're going to have a couple of our cavemen, some of our little analysts here, if you will. So let's bring them on now. We're bringing on uh, the one and only host of Sports Night, and what I feel is who I feel is the connoisseur of Pennsylvania pizza shops, Mr. Ian Hunter. Yeah. Let's bring on next the broest of bros and my favorite John Wall impersonator, Tyler Ray. Let's bring on our third caveman. Perhaps the biggest Dallas Cowboys fan I know, and the top Dodge aficionado. Let's bring on Kevin Zambori. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I never listened to the entire song. This is a great show. This is be a great show. Oh, I'm, gentlemen, I'm welcome that. to the welcome to the cave. That's the show. That's the title of the show. If I didn't. If I didn't mention it, we're welcome to the cave. These are our cavemen. I'm Matt Knaylor. Stay tuned. We have so much to talk about here on the cave today. We're gonna be. We're gonna take a quick break. We'll be right back with the top bonfire tender and flame fueler of them all, oh. Jesse Baden. Stay tuned. Welcome back to the cave, everybody. I'm Matt Knaylor, and with with us now, as I say, the top bonfire. The top bonfire tender and flame fueler of them all, Jesse Baden. Jesse, we're talking about fire and wood this morning in the cave. Two manly things. Yes. T tell us about your fire tending experiences and exactly what attracts you to the flames. Well, I'll tell you what, man. The flames, they speak to me, okay? Yes. When I, when I build a fire, it's not just, you know, throwing a few wood no, together. No, it's not. There's an art form there to it. There is an art form to it. You have to build a little teepee, a little pyramid. Boy Scouts taught me that. There is, there are so many different styles of building a fire. Now the teepee, like you mentioned, is definitely one of them. Usually I like to start with a teepee. Smaller twigs, some paper underneath. You don't have paper, cut up leaves, whatever. You can get some small kindling underneath there. Teepee is the way to go and start the fire. The best one though, is the cabin around the teepee. Ooh, now this style yeah. okay. is not known very well, but- I've heard of it, it, it It's one of those things that when you do it, it impresses people. Now, is this just a myth or like sometimes when you run out of wood, you immediately turn to your firstborn? <laughs> now I've done it one time. <laughs> okay. Uh, let me tell you right now, I had the cops call to me. It was, it was a messy okay. situation. But I'll tell you what, that fire didn't go out. Fire didn't go out. Okay. That's, that's, what what that's the important part. That's, 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 that's the man. important mm -hmm. part. It's a man. Mm -hmm. Now, Jesse, right. we were talking a little last night. Tell us about perhaps one of the craziest experiences you've had with a fire. Well, I'll tell you. <laughs> gasoline is one thing you don't want to mess with with a fire sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I actually occurred one time. I had a fire, wet wood. And when you have wet wood, Do you tell it's, me bad news. it's bad news. You know, all we've around. all been to Memphis during Mardi Gras. One okay. of those, <laughs> different, yeah. I'll tell you, bad times. But inexperienced me, I was a young boy, about mm. 10 years old, mm. and uh, I was using the gasoline from a jug. Mm -hmm. And I thought pouring it directly on top would be a great idea. No, that's Fire terrible. It was already lit. No. Oh, Can't do that. Oh, man. I actually caught the nozzle of the gas tank on fire, flames spreading out. And I did not understand the exact proper way to put out a gasoline fire. 
So I shook it. Yes. Yes. I mean, that's the logic. You were hoping to put it out. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Some air flowing using your. I started spinning in circles, shaking it. Serpentine patterns, they got away from T Rex or get you away from fires. Exactly. Exactly. Um, So I figured that would work. Yeah. Next thing I know, I'm surrounded in a ring of fire in a field. I end up tossing the the gasoline can Mm -hmm. over a hillside. I immediately begin to stomp out the fire. But also, let me mention, that that fire was one of the biggest fires I've ever had. Mm-hmm. So it still was a success. It was so, a silver lining in everything. Biggest forest success. fire in California history yes, as well. Yes, it was. That it was, was great to be a part of that. Yeah. Now, wait, wait, where did you <laughs> learn such this. great skills, though? That's what I don't understand. Now, see. Were, was, were you in Boy Scouts or something? I, the Boy Scouts is a common myth about the fires. That, that is. It is a good thing to learn the basic skills. Like matchbox cars. Right. You can't matchbox cars. <laughs> Hot Wheels are superior, I guess. Yes, yeah. they really are. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm very proud of you for that. Yep. Uh, knowing that's it, details. Um, but yes, uh, you know, Boy Scouts, you do learn the things here and there. But the real skill is actually having to live in the woods for at least three weeks. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, if you, can't, if you can't go out there and ground your own food, wrestle a bear down every night, you know, Make a tent. What bear did you have to wrestle on your time in the woods? Now I'll tell you right now. I was a young boy. It was just a cub. I chased off its mother afterward. It was a, it was an easy situation. My mother left me in a wooded glen just last week, so I completely yes. know. I know. It's, yeah, that's that's what I was. My father told me if I don't come back to the house, that uh, he you know he considers mm-hmm. himself a failure as a father. Mm-hmm. I came back. Guy became uh, you know the uh, San Francisco Lounge Five uh, captain for the last 10 years. The last 10 years? Yeah, he was a real successful man. So uh, he was pretty proud of me. And I uh, moved my way up there myself, so. I like it. Oh, well, that's good, and I'll tell you. I'm impressed. The, the biggest California wildfire. Yeah. It was Kevin, good, were you part of that, too? Yeah. You know, I, I'm I not at liberty to discuss that at this time, but, you know. <laughs> the it, case is still pending. It was oh, great. Oh. You know, I try to put it out with more fire because, you know what they say. Fight fire, fire with fire. Fight fire with fire. 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 It's the best way. It's a logical instance if you know how to use it. It must be the humidity out there because that didn't work. No. It no? didn't work at all. No. But, you know, fire's fire. I mean, whatever. All right, well. We have uh, some viewer fan mail that we're going to get into next. Uh, we're going to ask Kevin some interesting questions regarding uh, pretty much everything manly. Some, okay. of the, some viewers want to know his thoughts on some big manly things. So we'll talk about that coming up. Stay tuned. This is The Cave on CUTV and WCUC. Welcome back to The Cave, everybody. Joining us now again, our regular caveman here. We have some viewer fan mail we're going to get to. We're going to talk about uh, some manly things, hopefully, Get the uh, get Kevin's opinion on some some questions our viewers have. So Kevin, really, I, yeah, I why don't you read those, Kevin? Use some, 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 some viewer fan mail. some great. Very, I, I didn't get to look over these, but I'm assuming they're going to be really really dandy. Uh, there's a few that you might find questionable. Some real questionable, yeah. yeah I, I don't know, but we'll see. Go ahead. Okay, he says uh, Chris. Um, I didn't put his 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 location. Just assume he's from Clarion. It's Chris from Clarion. Says, big, big city. Dear Kevin, I'm looking for a new car, maybe even a truck. I'm going to stop right there, Chris. I'm not going to read the next question, the, uh, the rest of it. <laughs> you get a Dodge truck. You say on there that you were let down. I was let down by Rush Hour 3, but I still enjoyed it. Okay? I'll watch that any day of my life. Funny story, guys. I once got trapped in a cotton candy machine. Okay? <laughs> And yeah. I completely. Well, first how did that that's a terribly unmanly thing to get caught in. I completely right. lost. Uh, you know, but <laughs> I mean, it's pink. It is you were, pink. You were, well, wait, no, was but you're able to eat your way out, which was very manly. What, if, it, if it was blue cotton candy, true. was it blue? At, at the time, you're panicking. At the at the moment, I was panicking you because might have been I was caught in the cotton breathe, candy. Breathe. But I still, to this day, eat cotton candy when I go to the, the festivals or fairs or other places that have cotton candy. So what kind of car do you think Chris should get then? What type of car should he get? Well, we can pretty much count on anything that's come from overseas. Okay, we're not going to do Volkswagens. We're not going to do So you're saying stay American? Yeah, and when they say Toyotas are made in America, lies. Lies. Toyotas are not made in America. They may be manufactured here, but they're not made here. Okay, so yeah, dodge all the way. If you have to, Go after a Chevy, but if you want to have a little bow tie in front of your truck, I mean, all right, I'll laugh at you, but, you know, some people will think you're, you're just fine. Um, and Fords, um, you know, they say found on road dead or, or, or first on race day, um, but they do sponsor the Dallas Cowboys. So, but again, it's the correct answer to this, and it's, it's going to dodge. Yeah. All right. Well, hey, uh, go ahead and get to, go ahead and get to our next one. I think you'll like that. one said, Dear Kevin, that's me. This one's directed towards me as well. It says, My family's thinking about getting a new pet. I could stop him right there, but I won't. 
Okay, his name is Brent. And my parents are thinking about getting a new pet. We can't agree on what we should get. My children want a gerbil. My wife wants a poodle. <laughs> and I just want a hunting dog. Tell us who's right, Kevin. Well, we're going to count out the children because they're dumb. Okay? <laughs> A gerbil, if you've ever had to take care of a gerbil before, those things are pathetic. What can they actually do? All right, me, myself, not gonna lie, love animals would wanna throw it, okay? And that would obviously land me in some kind of prison cell and to try to tell the people, my inmates, what I was in there for would probably crack them up. But, and then your, your wife wants a poodle. Okay, I'm gonna skip that. And um, I just want a hunting dog and I can tell you right now, I have a dog at home, he's a killer, all right? I've seen him kill a rabbit once all right and we weren't proud of lucky is his name lucky if you're watching um, but um i would suggest getting a lab preferably a um, lab uh, a lab doesn't matter what color it is it could be a chocolate um a what do you think about a compromise there's labradoodles out there you could get your get your oh. wife the same dog you want a labradoodle Kenny, i'm gonna stop you right uh, there it's a man uh, yeah, anything yeah. poodle related is not allowed no not no. allowed no. 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 no 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 men get what they want yeah and um also i'm like yeah. century so anytime <laughs> i mean I mean, I, it, only lab I suggest not getting a meth lab. That's how much you want to So just, just go up for that, get a lab for that. But All right. there you go, Brent. Let's check out the next one. Okay, dear Kevin, it's me again. Uh, my wife knows more about football than I do. I am trying to find a team to root for, but I decided it couldn't be the Cowboys. What can I do? <laughs> sincerely, sincerely, Tony. I'm afraid the way your tone changed just now. I've Tony? read that sentence. Tony? I'm, I'm fearing for Tony right now. Tony, I, I, feel, I feel like Kevin and Tony are having a, mo a moment here. Yeah, Tony, I'm going to tell you, change your name for one thing. It should be Sissy Girly Man <laughs> is what your name should be. It should be Sissy Girly Man, not Tony, okay? That's what your name should be. And if your wife knows more football than you do, then I'm, I'm ashamed of you, Tony. I don't know who you are, okay? But let me tell you, I the first time I ever used a chainsaw, I never used one prior, okay? But I did it. Okay, because I'm a man and the power that I felt. Learn the game of football and like the Dallas Cowboys. I'm assuming, Tony, that's an American name. Probably came from over from Italy or whatever, but it's America now. And I expect it. This, this is actually it makes me frustrated. It really does. I'm sorry to hear that. Mm -hmm. That's why they're asking you for advice, Kevin. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. You know, it's they're, the they're same. Do you have any advice themselves. for Tony? Well, when I, any advice for Tony? Okay, my mother does not know a darn thing about football, and she's watched it all her lives and has no idea what is going on. I heard about the fiasco with March Madness in your mother's bracket, something about it was better than yours. Uh, it was better than mine, but that was just a technicality. She was watching American Idol at the time, which gives you high hopes and for your future. And I just felt like she just got real lucky, okay? But right now I'm just frustrated. The frustration I'm feeling right now is that my mother has no idea how long to keep the corn in the pot on the stove. It's always either overcooked or undercooked. And I'm just like, Mom, you've been making this for years. Okay. It's terrible. Get it right. It's terrible. Get it right. I'm not going to put up with this for 50 more years. <laughs> okay. You know? All right. I'm well, not, not going to do it. Well, you shouldn't. You shouldn't. But yeah. uh, let's go ahead and next question. This, this is, from, this is from Jackson, which is a cool first name. Um, he says, Dear Kevin, that's, that's me again. I need to chop down a tree in my yard. And I want to use a chainsaw with more power, but neighbors think it's too noisy. What should I do? <laughs> If your neighbors are like my neighbors, if your neighbors start to complain, go insane, okay? <laughs> if you could be loud, be loud, all right? There's, if you're outside, if you're in town, there's probably noise complaints, but those are just guidelines, okay? <laughs> crank, up the, crank up the chainsaw, be as loud as you want, you know, cut the tree down twice if you want to, I don't care. But, you know, yeah, Jackson, you know, neighbors really have been put there to test you. And it's just a matter of fact of you just surviving your neighbors. And I used to have a neighbor, guys. Was she the kind of neighbor that borrowed tools and didn't return them? Like that, that snowblower or your 916th wrench or well, something? Well, he's no, longer he's no longer here with us anymore. But you got your tools back is the important part, Got my right? tools back, you know, but tools are a different story. You know, if he's, yeah, he came over asked me for a 16-inch, you know, soldering iron, which is, which is completely made up. <laughs> I told him, I said, you can go, you can go to your own tool store. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's my neighbor. He's no longer with us, as I said it's before. It's too bad. It's too bad. I'm sure he would have made a great neighbor someone to test you. Todd says, he says, I love to make buffalo wings and grill with other hot seasonings. Good job, Todd. Uh, really but my friends say my cooking is too spicy, which is a myth, just like the country of Mexico, okay? <laughs> he says, I've tried to cut back, but my food just isn't the same. <laughs> how, can I how can I please my neighbor's taste? What the heck say my cooking is spicy? I've tried to cut back, but my food isn't the same. How can I please my neighbor's taste buds? 
You're, so for one, for one thing, why don't you cook it for your neighbor? For one thing, my neighbor's never cooked for me. I don't even cook for myself sometimes. You don't have a neighbor anymore, no Yeah, wonder. valid point. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Remember, it's also very important that if the Why? neighbor's coming over to your place, he eats by your rules. Why is, is your neighbor true. coming over to eat your food? That seems so counterproductive. I don't go over to use their restroom. <laughs> like, oh, hey, neighbor, excuse me. It's just, 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 it's just Kevin. Let me use it. Okay. Yeah, what neighbor? Okay, for one thing, Todd, use spicy foods. Okay, I have acid reflux. My doctor, Dr. Penumbalum, that's a serious, serious thing. He told me not to eat spicy food. He told me that the only type of milk I could drink is goat milk. Where can I get goat milk? Okay. Goat milk's not manly. Where can I get goat milk? No, it's not manly. It's not manly at all. Not manly I've never all. even seen goat milk. I don't even, I couldn't even identify a goat if you showed me one. <laughs> all right. That's how much I care about the goat population. It's terrible. Dear well. heavens. This one starts off really great. They say, dear Kevin, and that's me. My girlfriend and I are planning a trip to the beach this summer. Don't go to the beach. I'm just going to say that right now. <laughs> I want to wear a normal pair of swimming trunks, but she wants me to wear a Speedo. <laughs> Will I lose a man card? Kevin, question mark. <laughs> this, is, this is actually embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> this is a little embarrassing. Okay. I'm embarrassed for this. Who is this? This is, this is Brad. Brad. This is Brad. Brad. We're embarrassed for you. Brad from I'm not a manville. Okay? <laughs> Because, I'm sorry, I don't wake up and call my mother up and say, what should I wear today? I put on my jeans and I put on my shirt. All right, don't wear a Speedo, we don't need to see that. Do you okay? put on your hat or does that always just stay on? The hat, it's, I mean, depends. It really does depend, you know. Okay. There are certain activities I do that always stays on. All right, and sometimes when I'm sleeping, I just like to feel the constriction on my head to make sure I'm safe and secure. Um, but, yeah, but, you know, uh, plan a trip to the beach this summer. Don't go to the beach. Go somewhere fun. Go somewhere in the Midwest. Omaha this time of year is great. Dirt track race. Dirt track race. Go dirt to dirt track, track racing. racing. Go to dirt track racing. That should okay. be a whole part of the show. Just You're not racing. living unless you breathe yeah. in um, racing fuel. Okay, maybe unhealthy. That's what the doctors say. But Dr. Penumbalum. Dr. Penumbalum, my That's stomach doctor. He's <laughs> actually a Pittsburgh doctor. Is he? Yeah, Dr. Penumbalum. He was a it's nice about guy. 20 minutes outside of Pittsburgh? About 20 minutes. Uh, Pittsburgh. If we talk about Pittsburgh, I'll give you my opinion on the stinking state of Pittsburgh. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, I really will. Big. I really will talk about Pittsburgh. But Brad, don't wear a speedo. Go ahead and wear a speeder. Speeder. Yeah. Go wear a speeder. All right. Well, we're he's gonna. Just so mad. Oh. I am mad no, about this. Mad. And he's listening there's to his un, girlfriend. There's some unmanly men out there, aren't there? Hey, there are some Gotta unmanly men. If this. anyone ever said put this speedo on, I'd be like, well, why don't you put your face back where you got it? <laughs> That's what I would say to them, all of them, and that's, everyone. That'd be that's incredibly difficult, yeah. but fun to watch. Interesting. Everyone in the beach, too, if they dare look at me. <laughs> all right. I well, told people, I said, I don't even like looking at myself naked. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Well, we're getting to the point of the show where I'm e even I'm uncomfortable. I man. know. <laughs> just Glad keep, just keep that cowboy hat on him. We'll be all right. Okay? No one needs to see the top of my head. Exactly. All right, we're going to head to our next break. We're going to come back and talk about things that irritate manly men. Rick's directing. I don't know if he'll be down, but we'll see. I know I'm Kevin, irritated by a I lot know of Kevin things. has a few things he'd like to say, so stay tuned. This is The Cave, CUTV and WCUC. Like 50 things in the state of Tennessee. Welcome back to The Cave on CUTV and WCUC, everybody. Joining us now, Rick McClellan. He is, uh, well, he's been trying to get me to let him just kind of complain for a while, and I'm perfectly fine with that. There are some things that irritate manly men, so Rick will be on here to give us his thoughts. But Kevin, we were talking yes. the other day about birdhouses. You have a complaint. Yes, you know I'm not too fond of the animal species. Okay, <laughs> um, I've I've really I've spoken outwardly of how I feel about pandas. Um, oh yeah, yes, that was I a have. good conversation. Okay, now birds. I'd like to talk about birds for a moment and how they irritate me. And also, I'm gonna throw my parents under the bus here uh, for this one. Okay, because I hear my parents say, oh, we're trying to conserve on money. And I'm like, oh, that's cool, that's great. And then I open up the garage door and there's a 10 pound bag of bird seed sitting in the garage. I'm sorry, but birds don't ever bring me food or sit anything, okay? And they say, oh, it's nice to see them out there. Birds will be there, okay? There's been birds in my property for a long time. They find things to eat, all right? And then I was like, oh, Kevin, feel the bird seed. I literally just dumped the whole bag in it and all over the ground, and I just let the birds eat it. Oh, great, there's a red bird outside today. Oh, well, I'm a human being, all right? Top of the food chain. Yes, the again, top. until birds start, to bring me food, okay, and spending their hard-earned money, all right, then we'll talk. But again, they're birds, and I'm not going to talk to a bird, Matt. 
Freeloaders are the worst. That's ridiculous. It I don't is. know. It's you gotta kick them off your property. Like, I literally Tell am frustrated about with that. Freeloaders are ridiculous. First of all, birds freeloading. Raccoons for years have been digging Dear. in the trash. Oh. I mean, I agree with the animal thing. I don't sure. think animals, you mm -hmm. eat them. That's what animals are for. You're supposed to eat mm -hmm. them. You make them into meat. There's a hierarchy on the food chain. There's a hierarchy. We're at the top. The We're at the top. Everything else is at the bottom. So then how do you feel about hunting? How do I feel about hunting? Yes. I'm, you know, you know I'm or guns right in now. general. Guns in general? You know, oh, we I don't have a gun segment. That's what we should have done. <laughs> a gun yeah. segment. I, I love I love loud oh, noises, just like the rest of us do. <laughs> and and the thought of you know you know someone you know being responsible for someone's life is crazy. Okay, but um, hunting. Honestly, I've been out hunting one time with my father and my older brother, and I ate like six bologna sandwiches. It was ridiculous. Hunting is manly, but it's not a man thing to do. Okay, I hate it out there. I don't mind people shoot deer, but I feel like it's a, it's a waste of time. I mean, I go to Punta Tawny, there's dead deer sleeping on the side of the I road. I know, you can just pick them up for free. Have you ever seen that? That's another thing. Deer always sleeping on the side of the road. <laughs> always sleeping on I'll the side of the road. I'll never sleeping, bud. Well, I'm telling you, they don't move too and much. And they're, and they're there for days. They're for days yeah. upon like, end. Yeah, once it's just a sore site. We built I these roads. We built these roads, and then they go and mess them up with their sleeping all over. I'll pay taxes. Speaking of roads. <laughs> Speaking of roads, they're not even paying for the roads. That it's they 2012, on. guys. Why does it seem like every year they have to fix the roads? We haven't made something. We can ha make an airplane fly in the sky, 30,000, whatever high. They're really high, and um, but yet there's always cracks and everything. It's water. Water happens. We can't we can't defend against water, ice. And that's well, we are. It's all evaporating. We're running out of water. So I mean, we're winning the water war. So we're, we're defeating water. the war on water. This is true. So we are winning oh. the war on water. <laughs> I, 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 I never thought I'd have to fight something so simple. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's not manly. We're winning the war on water. So Rick, tell us about some other things that uh, irritate you. Uh, do you, have, do you have anything off the top of your head here? First of all, friends. People in general are just irritating. I agree. So you never people look. People these days. People in general are just irritating, especially friends. Friends are the worst. I have a couple friends up in the control room. They're the worst people I know. Somehow I feel like you're not <laughs> acting. Um, they're the worst. If don't you want to be it. a man, just be alone, and mm -hmm. that's fine. Like, you don't need friends. Stop having friends. <laughs> friends are bad. I'm glad we're all enemies on this. Uh, you know, we don't like each other. No, just no. A couple, just a couple yeah, of caves. Yeah, I mean, we're just going to go home to our separate caves. This isn't like a commune. We're not hippies, okay? Right. <laughs> so, he looks like one. Right? <laughs> but he hasn't been home. He's a lumberjack. He hasn't been home to get a haircut yeah. in a while. He has plus, an excuse. Plus, when we talk about facial hair, that's when, that's when T-Ray is going to shine. He's yeah. Like, the sideburns. Okay. So, he has an excuse. He's been out in the woods for a couple of For block of seven, he'll be the manliest man on the set. <laughs> that's great. Maybe. I don't know. Ru Russ don't has know. him. Russ has him. I don't know. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Other irritating things? Children in grocery stores. <laughs> there should be... Even I don't me know. in grocery stores. Even me? <laughs> Which, I, I, you, you're, you're irritated by yourself? Yeah, but continue because I would like to hear this. <laughs> I mean, we have to have, find a way to keep them out. I don't know. I think we should set mm -hmm. up a barrier like concrete at the front of the store. You have to step <laughs> over to get in, okay? Must be, must be this tall. We can, have, we can have a pen outside. You can leave your children <laughs> in the pen. You know, and then they're not running around. They're not making you buy Cheez-Its and little do-giddies that do have touch screens. You don't have to do any of that. You just keep them outside in the pen, okay? The, okay. you, get, <laughs> you block out a corner for them, that's the bathroom, and you're done. They can play in the grass. The, children, today's kids even know what grass is. They don't even get outside. They sit inside with their little keyboards. Yeah. You put them out in the grass, Jeez. and you let, them figure, you let them figure it out. You on let their them own. break an arm or something, you know? Yeah, you yeah. let them figure it out on their yeah. own. I'm upset okay. with southern people. Okay. You like southern people? Yeah, I, don't, I like them, but it's just they don't like when you make fun of their accents. I was down in Kentucky this past summer and they said oh, beans and cornbread in a southern accent and I couldn't help it but laugh. <laughs> and it was kind of inappropriate. We were at a funeral, um, like, like dinner afterwards, and they said beans and cornbread and I was just like, guys, say, like, stop it, quit talking, you know? But they continue to talk down there in the south and that's, that's a problem in its own. You know, so the south needs, needs to be quiet. What about car alarms? Real men don't lock their cars. I'm mean, gonna lock their cars if they want to take my truck. Car they can really annoying. unnecessary. If they're gonna take my Dodge, I will find them. Okay, I will literally find them, and you know I'll break out. You'll hunt them. them down, which is the only kind of hunting you should actually do, right? <laughs> they'll probably hunt me back down hunt because you they'll feel so bad about it. Oh, that's true. They take my Dodge. Tyler Ray, any complaints? I mean, what about what about people who can't play guitar? That's gotta irritate you. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. One less person I gotta deal with. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I really hate is dealing with dealing dealing with people who who just who can't do things and 
and then try and make you're me so do. You're so accepting. That's great. So, <laughs> yeah. You know. we, have a, we have anything else? Hippies are pretty irritating. Yes, I don't they know are. I want to get on They just that take subject. up space. They just get a job. All right. I know that there's no jobs. Nobody has any jobs anymore. There's jobs. All right. Just get gotta out. find them, man. Cut your gotta hair. Look. Cut your hair. Patch the holes in your pants. Build a resume, man. Yeah. Yeah, build yeah. a resume. I want you to build a resume from wood and carve it on. Absolutely. That's unique. You'll get hired immediately. Exactly. I know it's hurting the trees well, and everything. No, I mean, You're giving your down boss a wood, splinter, he's going to remember you. Yeah, you, you he's going to remember boss you. A splinter. People, he's and gonna... also think about trees. I think we should cut them down. Yeah. I keep on saying, oh, we're, we're, yeah, D4. <laughs> How are we going to defeat the water if we're letting it grow all these trees? I'm sorry, but us. look over yonder. We have about a gazillion trees that are over there untouched, and they could be used for useful things. Oh, they like, like to walk through resumes. the woods. Building, forget resume that. building is perhaps the biggest thing for the hippies. For, for the hippies. We need the no, trees need to No, you're talking go. about reserve yeah, building. I agree. Reserve building. Reservations. I got my R words messed we up. We are animals on this planet, too. We're allowed to do whatever we want. I think we should build a skyscraper as big as the Empire State Building made out of wood. You think? That, was that, is that a good idea? Lumber is greater than steel. I'll make it like a huge like bird. They're making a huge birdhouse. <laughs> that's who mess it up. They mess it up. They mess it up. They mess everything up. A giant birdhouse for the hippies. They make us build birdhouses in high school. And there they you are go. just <laughs> and you drive away in your Dodge. Drive away in my Dodge. It's coming full circle. <laughs> Let's go break all the birdhouses that they make you build in shop class. Cut. Thank you, shop class <laughs> teachers for. Apparently, we should have taken metal shop instead. Well, we made metal bird feeders, oh, too. Oh, gosh. Oh, boy. Well, those birds can't just have regular wood and have steel or whatever it was. It was silver. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, we're going to take our next break. When we come back, with we'll the top five mainly of sports, including bear wrestling. I'm sure a few people have done that before. Who hasn't? Stay tuned. Welcome back to the cave here on CUTV and WCUC 48-hour broadcast style. I'm kicking the tie, the shirt and tie here for the nice flannel instead of, you know, face the campus. Let's do it, guys. So back to the cave. Let's talk about the five manliest sports. Let's start with bear wrestling. We got salt up here. As you can tell, pretty manly. Those shades make it. I don't like his shirt, but it's all good. I like this guy's shirt, Alex Kazora, yes. fresh off the draft show. When you think manly, you think Alex You have Kizora. to. Well, <laughs> I was thinking, I was going to say Brett Kiesel. He's so tiny. <laughs> He's so tiny right now. You're the there. tiniest of all of us. <laughs> My parents were going to disown me if I wasn't over six foot. <laughs> That's yeah. Punxsutawney for you. Got to be at least six foot, huh? So Got to tell you a funny story about a, the bus system there whenever we get a chance. All right, we can talk about that during the uh, next block. We're going to talk about the vehicles. Yeah. It's a nice segue. I like that. Thank you. But this kid's shirt, he's got a Brett Kiesel shirt on. If we can get a shot of that real quick. I don't know if we can <laughs> get a good three shot of that. that but anyway, yeah, got the beard. Got to love it. So, guys, I'm talking about bear wrestling. Salt, mm -hmm. you ever wrestled a bear? Chandler, it was uh, it was one of our pastimes back in Nam, just to stay in shape, <laughs> wrestling bears. It was it, it was great conditioning, and uh, I ended up wrestling one. It uh, it was pushing uh, was pushing a ton, the uh, the 1,200 pound. Uh, wow. No, was, no, 2,000 pounds. Wow, is my math off? 2,000 pounds. This thing was pushing a ton. Guess who was able to lift it over its head? Wow. This guy, right here, with and you, ease. And, you, and, and with ease. With ease. Put it in a sleeper hold. It was out. And then, I, and, then, and then I had dinner with its right leg. <laughs> I made dinner out of its right leg. I say, with its right leg, it was just... I made, I made dinner out of its That's right leg. Kazora, we're talking about shin kicking as well here during this block. Yeah. I think you have something to say about shin kicking. I think it's the greatest thing in the world. It goes like penicillin shin kicking. It's really the order of the <laughs> like, greatest things ever created. Every <laughs> That's the list. Just the manliest thing. One versus one, kick, kick each other in the shin until someone falls down. You basically, st for those who don't know, you stuff hay in your legs and you you know in your, <laughs> in uh, your socks pants. in your pants and you just kind of you just steel toe boots you just, yeah, kick, you each just kick each other kick each other i can't think of anything more manly kicking, yeah that so. was a fun game in kindergarten mm -hmm. Kinder and we grew up and it was just you know yeah. we all bought swords well, and let's combine yeah. the two, shin kicking versus a bear <laughs> there is, Listen, is there really a comparison that would be that would be great i think yeah. let's do this yeah. well, you see two bears shin kicking <laughs> I mean, one of the craziest things. Not the craziest thing I've ever seen in my life, but... Uh, that's, like, that's like putting <laughs> Robitussin against Vicodin. I mean, I once, saw, <laughs> I once saw a bunch of, you know, kids playing a game with, like, a quart of laundry detergent and a candy cane. And I, I was questioning that for about 20 minutes as I stared at them, you know, from afar. And that I was doesn't just, seem manly whatsoever. No, but, like, it was... It, I mean, it happened. <laughs> well, wait, they were kids? <laughs> yeah. So they were still boys. They were still boys. Benefit of the doubt. Soon to be men. They'll be shin kicking in no time. Hey, the Spartans sent their boys to become men at age seven. Wow, that's true. We have expectations here. I have a problem with gotta, that. Got to live up to the name. 
the Spartan bear fighters, I guess. <laughs> uh, guys, we're talking about the Lingerie Football League. This is a true story. This isn't, any, this isn't anything fake. The Lingerie Football League, it's a real thing. Apparently, they're going to switch their season around so they can get a better viewership, more fans, and expand more teams. They currently play during the winter. They're going to move towards uh, playing in the summer, obviously, because, well, it's a lingerie football league. Guys, what do we think about this? I'm a fan. A fan? I'm a fan. I'm lingerie well. football in the summer, I'm a fan. You I'm, know, I'm a... You know, I want it all the time. You know, men, meet me at camera, too. <laughs> So what I want you to do, man. Forget about the budget cuts. Forget about that. Write your congressman. I want the LFL all year round. All right, that's what we're going to do. 52 weeks? 52 weeks season? Yes. And then they every start again next year? Every time. That's yeah. what we like. Budget cuts don't need them. LFL, we need it. I was actually, I was actually banned from an LFL game. Uh, I, was sitting, I, was sitting, I was sitting front row, and they said I looked better than the... Uh, than the talent on the on the field, so uh, but the, the what skill. can you do? So they, they threw me out. Starting to shame them. So, it's, 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 but what can you do? It's, it's a manly thing. I don't know. The skill is uncanny hey. when you watch. The it's always it's always good league. to watch the cheerleaders play football. I think you know it's right. always something positive. But uh, so good old powder puff. Only uh, only one thing in my opinion can be better than beach volleyball, powder and it's the football. laundry football league. That's true. Don't compare to powder puff football. I can assure you that. Powder puff football. Don't, don't compare it to that. No, that's Let's not that's not sport. Another another manly sport. Hot dog eating contest. I wish. Uh. We do it here. I wish we could just uh. exactly, guys. But first off, you saw so you along with Barris, and you competed in a hot dog eating contest. I did time. yet yet another sport I got banned from because I was too good. <laughs> <laughs> Sat there with my big old Culligan water jug, yeah. and uh, and, I, and I ate 85 hot dogs in seven minutes, and they're like, "You're gonna put us out of business. So you, you're not allowed to be in this contest." Anymore. You're too good so, for him. So that was my one stint in the in the hot dog world. But you retired as a champion. I, I, retired, I retired on top. Walk, walked away. Walked away. You know, I walked. I, I'm a champion, champion at almost everything I do. I like it. I, I'm, yeah. I'm just gonna go and say that right now so it's it's, it's terrible that they got to throw away greatness out of, out of these sports like uh, like hot dog eating and then uh, I'm glad they didn't make a uh, bear wrestling a sport because I probably got banned from that too <laughs> man they're probably that's something we should start. We in should the, start a professional should, bear wrestling circuit. They should circuit. have that in the Olympics. Like that should be like move, like move figure skating out of the way. And Absolutely. Putting in bear wrestling. Absolutely. We could think, think about it. Think how about that? Or like to, to start the Olympics as a kind of like a sideshow. Yeah, the figure Indian skaters Indian wrestle the bear bears. Wrestling. Yeah. Polar bears. Go. Keeping it, keeping it, keeping it local. Yeah. That way they can train. In the keeping houses. it local. What do you guys think local. about bringing gladiatorial sports back? Yes. Gladiatorial sports. I'm I told you. For it. I, I I watched the movie 300 and I hate that movie. I mean, it would be what? 14 minutes long if it wasn't for slow motion. I feel like the radio phones are going to It'd be 14 up. minutes long. <laughs> 14 minutes long. No, I mean, I'm sorry. If it weren't for politics today, I mean, gladiatorial sports would still I'll be. I'll tell you what. I'll work, that, I'll work that into the, the show. government and all, all that Speaking, fun stuff. We have the stadium. There was a there was a non-male that told me a um, <laughs> that said, you know, oh, do you know what are in hot dogs? And I said, I, I don't know. She's I'm like blood, sweat, and tears, and she's probably like, she was like, yeah, probably. I'm like, well, gut. <laughs> All right, you know they say what's in hot dog. Who cares what's in it hot dog? It builds character. It builds character. Puts hair on your chest, right? Darn right, it does. Darn right, it does. Lead in the pencil. So guys, we're talking about another manly sport, one of our favorites. What is Madden. That? Who Madden. doesn't love a good game of Madden? It comes out every year. It gets better and better. I'm pretty sure. I'm completely awful at the game, but you know <laughs> I like to be cocky about it. And um, I always get the Dallas Cowboys, and I almost beat Darian over here once. Almost. He I was and I had to go to overtime the once. Then we just decided, you know, hot dog eating contest would figure it out, figure out who won. Uh, no, Matt Naylor, I believe, if you remember correctly, I defeated you in that I game. I believe that's a load of malarkey, but that's beside the point. <laughs> I believe it is not. We're going to set that record straight right now that I defeated I you. I accidentally one time played a FIFA game. And I, I'm so sorry. I'm still real upset with myself about that, and that will never happen again, I can assure all of you. What I can say about Madden is it's one of the greatest sports in life because it's a sport you can play without having to wear clothes, and not many people would be offended. Yes. Right? And you sit there with your colleagues. Exactly. Like with my, with my big colleague jug and a bag of Cheetos and the sticks in my hand. Am I right? So. They expect us to wear clothes so much. Like during a lot of activities. It's, 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 summer. it's such a pain mm -hmm. because it's so hot. I, feel, yeah. I, I, get, I, get, I get what you're saying. Yeah. I don't know about you guys, but I wear my flannel all year round. Well, well either flannel or Steelers, Steelers shirts. Depends. Yeah. You Football know, sometimes I'll find some body paint or, you know, primer in the basement. <laughs> and I just, I'm just like, Kevin, let's do something weird today. And, uh, you know, just, you know, coat the body with a nice, uh, nice primer. Get this. Get the smell going. All right, guys. Well, we're going to come back. We're going to talk. Well, this, this was great. And Kevin segued into it earlier. We're talking about, uh, we're going to come back after our break here. We're going to talk about vehicles a man should never drive. We're talking about minivans and Kevin talks about foreign cars. We'll talk about that on the other side. Stay tuned. Drew Carbon's key will make an appearance. To the cave here on CUTV and WCUC. We're talking about five cars a man should never drive. So, guys, first off, 
we talked about, you know, we, we think of like big diesels, big, uh, you know, big trucks. I mean, hey, that's that's some manly stuff, right? What do we think about hybrids, Kevin? Get started. Well, before I get on hybrids, which also is Latin for lie, uh, <laughs> we, I, I was looking over, we have a tour group right in right now, and there's a Raiders fan, and that's a manly thing, to be a Raiders that's pretty, fan. black and silver. Yeah, I mean, I'm a Cowboys fan, but, you know, the Raiders, they're, they're fun, they're fun to do. But back to your, your hybrid thing, like I said, it means lie. Um, you know, hybrids mainly are just trying to protect the environment that we're trying to destroy, okay? And um, if, if the car companies are going to be in the way of that, then, then so be it. But, you we know, can't chop down the trees if they're trying to save it. Yeah, that's I, I the, get what you're saying. That's, that's the terrible. thing. And, you know, that's why we only, you know, again, they may say they make them in America, but I don't believe it until, you know, I see it. I don't believe it. I don't even care if they show me. I think but, a car we need to talk about with uh, top five cars a man should never drive is Drew Carpenter's Kia. He drives a Kia, and I taunted him every time I got into that Kia. And, I was uh, ashamed when I got into that Kia. I'm yeah. not a fan of the key, Ian. No, I'm not a fan. How come? It's just not a manly vehicle. No? It wasn't a manly vehicle. I mean, when he accelerated, I guess that's what you call it for a Kia. <laughs> um, like, it was like you couldn't hear it. Like, it kind of, like, made less noise. Less the, noise? Yeah. Like, you're like, so why it's is it? It's supposed to get louder. It's supposed to, it's you're supposed supposed to, get to blow louder. your engine. Aren't it's you? a, yeah. Oh, yeah. You're supposed to hear it. Okay, there's some things you can do to and make a car sound manly. manly. Let, it get, let it get some rust on it. Okay, nothing wrong with rust. Nothing wrong with a little okay. bit of rust. It adds character. That's you just know? like it defines scars, your vehicle. Bruises. They're like battle wounds. Internal you know? bleeding. It's, That's it's what It's like you need. a badge of courage. It is a badge of courage. It is. It's yeah. like mud. And also, you know, t you know, poke a hole in the muffler. You know. Yeah. You know, you know make, make a little the, louder. You know? Yeah. Why not? You know, make a little louder. I mean, there's yeah. noise, noise restrictions, but again, you should be arrested yeah. for driving a Kia as it is. So, <laughs> I mean, either or, either or. All right, guys, minivans. Do you want to be the minivan man, guys? Do we really want to do that? You know, I wanted a minivan when I was in high school because I discovered how much stuff you could carry. And then you could be your own roadie. I found, listen, I, exactly. listen, Tyler. Listen, Tyler. I discovered how mistaken I was. Thank you. Thank you. I, what I was really looking for was a truck. A big, powerful, you extended were looking for bed, a, extended exactly, cab, big old exactly. truck. The bigger, the better. Like an... F-350, Super Duty with dual gas tanks like my uncle has. Yeah, if you're not putting $100 with, in with your gas tank, you're wasting your and time. And 35-inch yeah. tires. Ridiculous. Come on, step up. This is what I'm talking about. The Electric. fact that you mentioned that you even wanted a minivan, Tyler Ray, shed some I bad said stuff I was on my mistaken. opinion of you. I was <laughs> mistaken. Lost respect for my father back in 1995. He purchased a 1993 Dodge Caravan, which it was a Dodge, but it's technically a Chrysler. Um, yeah, and that so it's happened. So fancy dodge. It was maroon outside, maroon inside. Oh. Yeah. What the heck that's, was that's that? That's not about? good. Not that's good when Kevin all. decided he needed to buy a truck. That's when I needed to buy a truck. I said, I said in 15 that, years, I said, I'll buy a truck. I'll buy a 2000 Dodge Dakota. <laughs> I said that in 95. I said, I'm buying a 2000 Dodge Dakota. You gotta stay with the millennium, right? You gotta stay with the Guys, millennium. foreign cars. I know Kevin's a big fan of those, the, the Toyotas, <laughs> as he calls them. <laughs> Toyotas. What do, we th what do we think about foreign cars, guys? I mean, that's what T Ray drives. Let's yeah. Know. Let's let's uh, let's not forget. I can fit a lot into my little Toyota. Like, this is true. I can carry. I can fit a lot of my Buick I can too. Carry we had five like people. Five, five people people's luggage. With to five get people's to luggage. That's impressive. Two bags. Hey, each. that's in, that's impressive. How many times have you hauled a lawnmower? <laughs> okay. I don't care how many people you can fit in your car. Okay, I don't care how many CDs you're. Are we talking six disc disc or rider? Because if you six, take the handlebar off six, the push mower, your six my disc trunk. CD changer that are in all Toyotas, not necessary at all. Turn on the radio. I roll with the cassette tape. Turn on the radio. Tape. No, uh, no, cassette tape. Yeah, you listen, listen, Tyler, six, real listen. manly eight track. Players. You have a six Those set manly. Listen, CD changer. Tyler, I guarantee it. Listen, I have a lawnmower in my car. And I don't need to put the handles down. I have a manly car. We should just be. We should be able to drive our riding lawnmowers around. We can I solve agree. both problems. I agree. Okay. I, I, I love sitting drive. on my John Deere. I love nothing more Listen, than Listen, I want to get my lawn cut John in just five minutes. Around. I want to be able to go 60 just miles an hour in my yard. I have okay, a big well, yard. I don't know about that because I'd probably kill myself going around a hairpin, turn around a tree. Well, no, you'd flip yeah. over, right? Listen. I'd be like my sister, hit a root and end up in the ditch. There are, there are yield signs. I'll put a yield sign in my yard to remind myself. You know, uh, take your easy. I don't believe in yield signs. <laughs> Neither do I. Well, I don't want to flip it. Funny story about yield signs. This goes to my bus thing I want to say. Punks County is so crime ridden. Right now, one of the top 30 in the county, Jefferson County, that is. And they pretty much, you know, on most buses, they have a stop sign that plops out, you know, for you to stop. For punks, it just says yield. Yield. It just says yield. It's like, all right, I'll pass it up, kid. All right, never mind. Terrible. Exactly. Guys, we're talking, let's talk about little cars. Do little we really cars. want a little car? Do we want a okay. okay. big right, car? Big car. Little big cars. cars. No. No, I'm not, I'm not taking a jab at T Ray's driver. Like a, to a Toyota <laughs> car isn't bad, but a little Toyota well, it car. Is. I don't know, man. Well, I know. I know. 
Okay, I saw Geo Metro at Sheets okay, one day and I well, started to cry. Three cylinders. Three, three cylinders. Cylinder That's a How bike gosh. Get up here? That's a legal go kart. My 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 little tight go kart pedal Some bike car. had three cylinders on it. Three <laughs> cylinders. I think you're confusing the wheels. Three <laughs> cylinders. My gosh. Now I couldn't find a fifth. I couldn't think of a fifth car that was unmanly, but I did. I found a, a you know okay. a substitute. We should be able to drive stock cars on the interstate. Stock I cars, agree. Yes. yes. Like regular, you know, a NASCAR type of car, things like that. Shouldn't you be allowed to go 120 miles an hour on a street where you can actually go 120 hey, miles an hour? Hey, they do it in Germany. They do. What, what, why are we behind here in the United exactly. States? Exactly. We're lagging in this. Exactly. Back whenever my grandfather was not a grandfather and he was just a man. <laughs> um, he actually had Back a race car and they were like two miles away from the racetrack and they would drive their race car on the main road. They would actually do that, but those were better times. That's when, you know. 57 the, Chevrolet, correct? It wasn't a 57 Chevrolet. Time. Well, getting well the you said he was just a man. Oh, he was just a man. He didn't drive a, he didn't drive a Chevrolet, oh. okay? Dodge. Drive a Chevy. Dodge. And, but yeah, it was a race <laughs> car. It was a race car. Keep, keep it short. It was a race car. They say it's a Chevy body, but that's a lie. You manipulate it. That's what men do. We manipulate. Manipulate I cars. Once saw, I, once saw a mon I went to a monster truck rally. The Been one to five time monster to, truck to rallies. Exercise, to exercise, you know, my manly attitude. And there was a Dodge, there was a Chevy truck there with a Dodge engine inside. How do you feel about that? Is that a lie? Well, you know. Is, is that a hybrid? Was it a manipulate? What is it? You know, that, that's, that's funny that I Chevrolet like would do that. I feel like it's a hybrid. That, it's not a hybrid. Well, it, they're, a they're custom, trying, it was a custom built. They're thing. trying to improve their car, which I give credit to the, to the Chevrolet company. And it's a French name, so I don't respect them for that. <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, if they're trying to improve their vehicle by putting a Mopar product in there, if they say Mopar, no car's better than Mopar, they need to sit down. <laughs> Rethink and just some stay things. there. Sit down and stay there. Take a seat, buddy. Take a seat. Mopar a seat. is better than yo car. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to take a quick break here on the cave. We'll be back. We're going to talk about facial hair. We're bringing on Russ. If you were up this morning, you saw Russ. He's changed a little bit. He's got his he's got some jeans on now, he's not his pajama it. pants. But uh, hey, he's going to be on here to talk about facial hair. We're bringing on Cody as well. He's going to talk about his beard, and it's pretty thick today. I don't know. We'll talk about that on the other side. This is the cave. Welcome back to the cave. We're a little short on time, so we're going to hurry. Turn the jerky. <laughs> Whatever. We're well, going to hurry jerky. up to this segment. <laughs> yeah, five seconds. Jerky is the best jerky. We got Russ, it's Cody, science. and Kevin. Great goatee here. Two beards. We're talking facial hair on this segment, everybody. Discuss how how manly these beards are. We'll start with Russ. And we'll start with Russ. Go to Cody. Talk about and Cody. He's got a playoff beard here for the pens, guys. Let's talk about beards. Can, Russ, why do you have a beard? Why not? Exactly. That is the I answer I'm looking my for. My face is already normally incredibly masculinely handsome, <laughs> but a beard can only enhance it. It's like an arson fire. In a junkyard. Oh, the arson wells, arson exactly. Fire. It's like an arson fire in a junkyard, really. You're just adding to the real estate value. <laughs> Cody, playoff beard. What do we think? Well, I mean, we, they were down three nothing in the series, but you kept that beard the whole time. And that's why they're uh, succeeding. I sport stupid. Yeah. <laughs> I sport stupid. It, it's warmth. Ice, exactly. hockey. But right now, summer's coming. Are you really going to shave it? Hey, I'm a man. I can deal with it. That's what I like to hear. Team <laughs> yeah. player. And I can even comb it. Come. This is how it became so wooly. Yeah. Look at this. It's a man's man. Mammoth. He wanted to shave it on the set, possibly for entertainment value. I told him no. We have to keep it. He would yeah. do that too good. That and it would make a mess, and we can't have hey, it. Hey, I didn't. Yeah, I did. I don't know. That'd be so, a betrayal. Guys, be talk about what's the what's the manliest type of facial hair? We got Kevin with his goatee. Is a beard the best? What do we think, Kevin? What do you, what do you think? You got like your goatee better? Or are you trying to grow a full beard? Oh, well, I don't. I don't like Brett Kiesel. I think what he did with the uh, the beard was a disgrace. Still, stole Brian Wilson's beard. You think? No, he stole my father's. <laughs> <laughs> my father did it way before everyone else. That is a really nice beard as well. I'm trying to. He I'm grows the beard as he's shaving it. Like, <laughs> like it's so it's crazy how it goes. But uh, yeah, so it, it it works. You know, you gotta have a nice little little beard going on, um, but. No, you know, whatever it is. You know, people weren't meant to see your skin. So you should grow a beard. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, we're eating beef jerky. We're a little short on time. We have the news on the way. One thing we promised we would do, have a couple of our cavemen arm wrestle to end the show. How manly is that? So who wants to, who wants to do this here? Kevin probably should. People will watch this. Me arm wrestling? Yeah. I'm one of the, one of the best uh, entertainers at arm wrestling. I'll arm wrestle myself. I think of these two. Are we being serious? Because I will go full tilt full time. That's one of my mottos I live by. <laughs> yeah, do it. We'll get Cody and Kevin here just to arm wrestle. Cody. Well. Here, we'll, we'll what the we'll heck? Move, move the helmet. This is off balance. Yeah. This will be void if I lose. Well, gravity's not in your, gravity's not in your favor. It's not too manly. 
All right. All right. Don't we have to do something? Here. Like one, two, three, four, I declare a thumb war or something? Yeah. Set. Go. Ow. My arm just best, broke. Best, best two out of three, left hand this time? Do it. Right. I saw left handed people on TV once. <laughs> I am left handed. All right, ready? Yep. Set. Go. A little bit of a challenge here. Come on, that's a turn two. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Kevin, Kevin wins. Both and I'm humiliated. Kevin, Kevin, wins both hands. Kevin is a good man, so I'm not. Kevin's that a man's bad. man. He's giving advice. He's, he drives a Dodge. He's a Cowboys fan, which I don't like, but whatever. That's that's not that's a little degrading if you ask me. But then hey, we all got our. He's got his flannel on. It's a man's man. Yep. This has been the Cave on CU TV, 48-hour broadcast. Stay tuned. We have the news coming up. We're on one now. That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> we have the news coming up. Stay tuned. Keep your beards. Yeah, keep your beards. Stay classy. Keep your beard <laughs> <Yeah>. in. <laughs> Question.